hello everyone today uh, in this particular video we shall discuss about least cost entry method so already uh, we had discussed regarding this particular method so we had solved a problem example problem of a least cost entry method so let us solve one more problem <coughs> on least cost entry method so i have the problem uh, with me so this is the matrix 6 3 5 4 5 9 2 7 5 7 8 6 as i have told you so these numbers represents cost unit cost of a particular product and uh, in the end in the end in the column and the row the last column we have the supply the material supply uh, that is 22 15 and 8 the uh, that is the number of units supply uh, number of units that we have uh, in the storage or uh, for supply and the same uh, number of units here in the last row 7 12 17 and 9 so these are the units so they are in demand they are in demand so let us solve straight away let us solve the problem so the step one uh, step one let us move on to the first step of the problem so as i have told you uh, in the last video we have to identify the least cost in the matrix so in the earlier problem earlier cases in the column minima or row minima so we used to find out the minimum value in the row and in the column as well as in the northwest corner in the northwest corner method we used to find out the minimum value in the northwest corner so in this particular problem so we are going to find out the least cost in the entire matrix the entire matrix so that is what we do in the first step so identify the least cost in the matrix least cost in the matrix so least cost so we have all these numbers so that represents a uh, cost so out of that we have the least cost as 2 so let me first identify the least cost or a cell which has that particular least cost so this is the cell this particular cell so it is least cost is 2 least cost is 2 so we need to do the allocation for this particular cell so we have to allocate uh, to this particular cell so how to allocate so we know that uh, we have to look into the demand and supply of that particular row and that particular column so just look into that particular column where we have the least cost least cost entered so here least cost is 2 so in the in that particular column so we have a demand of 17 we have a demand of 17 at the same time we have a supply of 15 we have a supply of 15 units so 15 units we have uh, we have the supply and we have the demand of 17 units so that is why whichever is minimum so that number has to be allocated in this particular position so that is in the least cost uh, least cost position so here this is the least cost position 2 so in this in this particular position draw a box and just allocate the minimum value so that is supply and demand so here out of that we have a supply of 15 so entire supply of 15 has been used to meet the demand of 17 so that is why entire 15 units I have used so just allocate that 15 in this particular position now I am left with zero supply zero supply in that particular row and at the same time I have used 15 I'm, I mean I have fulfilled all the dem uh, 15 demand of 15 units out of 17 so that is why I am left with 2 2 units of demand still we have a demand of 2 that is left out that is why wherever we have got 0 either the column or that particular uh, row wherever we have got 0 so just delete or just strike out that particular row or column so here 15 out of 15 supply we have used so that is why I have got 0 so wherever I have got 0 just strike out the entire row just strike out the entire row let us move on to the next step coming to step 2 again the same way we have to continue we are left with 4 columns and 2 rows 4 columns and 2 rows and out of these 4 columns and 2 rows uh, we have to identify the least cost so again here 6 3 5 4 5 7 8 6 so out of these numbers so the least cost and the least cost is 3 least cost is 3 so once we identify the least cost once we identify the least cost then 
we have to look into the column and the row respective column and the respective row for the for the supply and demand so when i look into that particular row i have a i have a supply of 22 units i have a supply of 22 units the same time i have a demand in that particular column i have a demand of 12 units 12 units so that is why the entire demand of 12 units can be fulfilled with the supply of 22 units so we have excess supply of 10 units so that is why i have to allocate the minimum value 12 and 22 out of that 12 can be fulfilled so the entire demand can be fulfilled so i am writing that 12 in this particular position so that is our allocation 12 is the allocation to the least cost position least cost position so that is why i have used all the uh, i have fulfilled the demand entire demand so that is why i, I will strike out this particular number 12 so I am, I am left with zero demand here at the same time so out of 22 i have used 12 so just strike out 22 and i am left with the supply of 10 units 10 units so let us move on to the uh, after that sorry after that uh, once we have got zero in any of the row or column so wherever we have got zero just strike out or cancel the entire column or the row so here i have got zero that is why i am striking out this particular column this particular column let us move on to the next step step three so i have written uh, in the step three i have left with only two rows and three columns uh, two rows and three three columns and i have written uh, i have included a demand and supply in the box don't get confused with that so here uh, the two rows and uh, three columns the number six five four five eight six out of these uh, numbers so out of these uh, costs whichever is the minimum minimum value or the least cost so least cost is four here I have identified the least cost as 4 so just look into the supply and demand again so what is the demand here demand is 9 demand is 9 and supply is 10 supply is 10 so all the demands can be met with the supply of 10 so that is why I am writing the uh, smaller number in this particular allocated position so here the least cost position is 4 or the least cost is 4 to that particular position I am allocating number 9 9 units I am allocating 9 units so that is why I just strike out this 9 and I am left with 0 demand at the same time here the supply of units 10 I have the supply of 10 units so that is why I have used 9 just strike out 10 and I am left with 1 the supply of 1 units now let us move on to the next step Now step 4, <coughs> uh, we, we are left with 2 columns and 2 rows, 2 rows and 2 columns, so out of that 6, 5, 5, 8, so these are the numbers or the cost, unit cost of a particular product, so out of that which is minimum, whichever is minimum, so that I have to consider or that I have to pick as the least cost entered, so here <coughs> the least cost, there is a tie between 2 numbers, 5 and 5, that is the least cost. So whenever uh, we come across this type of situations, so we have to we we can select any of the numbers. So that that's what I have told you regarding uh, solving the problem of uh, row minimum or column minimum. So any method, any method. So whenever we get a tie tie between two numbers, so we can select any of the numbers. So here I am selecting this particular position. Uh, to allocate so i have selected five least cost is five so and there are uh, two uh, numbers or sorry and there is a tie between two numbers here pi and pi so i am selecting this one this particular position so when i select that particular position so just look into the demand and supply so here i have a demand of two and supply of one supply of one so that is why i am using minimum value that is one one is uh, one uh, has to be allocated here to this particular position so now i am left with zero zero supply and here out of two the demand of two i have, uh, I have fulfilled one so that is why just strike out two and write one remaining one so i have allocated one here so now wherever i have got zero i am just striking out that particular row so just strike out this particular row now we are left with five and eight two numbers five and eight again the same time uh, we are left with the demand 7 1 and supply of 8 
so just uh, identify the minimum number or the least uh, least cost entered here so the least cost entered here is 5 least cost entered here is 5 so just uh, look into the demand and supply so he, here we have a demand of 7 we have a demand of 7 and the supply of 8 so that is why uh, we can fulfill the entire demand of 7 with the supply of 8 so 7 out of 7 has been used so just strike out that we are left with 0 demand so just allocate that particular value 7 7 in this particular position and again just strike out 8 so we are left with 1 so now coming to this particular position only one position lost a last position left out so in this particular position i have a demand of 1 and i have a supply of 1 so just allocate that particular number or the one one unit to this particular position so that is the end of the problem so now we have the solution or the final solution so just look into the allocation so these are the allocations 3 12 5 1 4 9 2 15 5 7 and 8 1 so these are the allocations or the allocated positions and the final answer we have to find out the minimum transportation cost minimum transportation cost you just multiply those uh, number of units into unit cost of that particular cell so that is 3 into 12 plus 5 into 1 plus 4 into 9 plus 2 into 15 plus 5 into 7 plus 8 into 1 so totally 36 plus 5 plus 36 plus 30 plus 35 plus 8 so that is equal to rupees 150 so that is the final solution of the problem or that is the minimum transportation cost thank you so much